the chain of custody, uh, including the forensic analysis. The purpose of uh, this hearing is simply for a witness with personal knowledge to be able to identify the defendant and uh, to identify Corey. So whatever you feel you need to do just to, to handle that issue on the record, I think if you just play a few moments of the video, that should be sufficient. You want us to do that now, Judge? I think so. I think we just outside the presence of the jury, I think the, the witness needs to identify uh, sure. the defendant and the child on the video. Okay, Judge, we can uh, publish uh, A and then we can publish, um, I guess, B, C, and D. B, C, and D. Um, she's not actually there in that portions of the video, but if we show a portion of that, I, I believe she would be able to identify the parties. Well, I find she's got sufficient familiarity with both of them to be able to identify him on her personal knowledge, unlike, say, a police officer who doesn't personally know the defendant or the victim prior to the incident identifying them. Thank you, Judge. Permission to publish uh, video A, please? Please go ahead. Thank you. Now, uh, Brianna, you just uh, viewed um, video A. Can you tell the court who is present on that video? 